Do you rival in live? That will be the question of the evening. Get things started. Do you, Lynn Nakamoto, rival in live? I do, I do, I do. Well, that answers that. I know there's many hundreds of you out there. Uh, not just yet, but as we go tonight, we will be joined by a good cast. And we will have our normal community time tonight. And we're looking forward to seeing uh, uh, many of you there tonight. Alrighty. All right. This is uh, day 640, 640 on our way to uh, 731, which would make us some, um, so we're 90 days, just three months away from our second anniversary of the Roblin Live Network presentation of Roblin Live and Ozzy. The Wonder Dog. Hey, yeah, that's pretty true. So it is the 24th day of May, 2024, and this is Rob Lynn Live, where all are welcome. We don't care what your nationality is. We don't care what your religion is. We don't care what your race or creed is. We just care about you, and we want each and every one of you to have the opportunity to join us on the panel. We're not selective. We're collective. There's a big difference there. So that all being said, I'd like to say uh, a couple of things before my good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. First off, to all the people of Papua New Guinea, our prayers go out to you after this horrific uh, mudslide, landslide that occurred there on Papua New Guinea. We pray uh, that uh, all on passivians, all global affiliates, all affiliates, all Customers of On Passive are safe at this point, and we pray for all those who may have been lost for their families as well. So that's Papua New Guinea, uh, the landslide that occurred there. Horrible situation. Yeah. Number two, I'd like to mention that On Passive and O Media have teamed with the UAE Development Council and signed a contract. So Look for the UAE uh, Development Council to be working hand in hand, developing along with on passive. I did notice uh, Dr. Susan in the crowd, as well as in the picture, obviously, as well as Mohammed Kamal. So, and I'm sure Mohammed uh, William Nizal was there as well, since he's the chief media officer. So, that's all good stuff. Uh, we'll get into a few more announcements in just a few minutes, but first, here we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to the all-inclusive, that's all-inclusive, without exception, Roblin Live Network production of Roblin Live and Ali, the Wonder Dog, with our topic tonight, and it's a dandy in our a series of great innovations. This is a great innovation, smart water movement. Oh yeah. And we know there's many of you out there that will be participating in this movement to get clean potable water to the masses around the globe. That's the goal here. <coughs> I don't know why I'm wheezing, but I'm wheezing. Okay. Uh, whew. All right, so our topic is a great innovation, smart water movement, and we'll be talking about this in detail tonight. We'd love for those of you who would like to make a comment or maybe even offer up a question about uh, a smart, uh, excuse me, a smart water movement uh, during community time where we bring each and every one of you who want to join us on the panel to the panel. And that is fun stuff. It'll be followed by a bit of signing. Uh, should our deaf community join us tonight, which we usually have at least one representative. And a song. That's right. A song by JJB Tin Man, also known as John Baria. That's in Espanol. And in Italian, which is what John is, it's John Barilla. Ooh, doggies. Yeah. All right, here we go. Please pray for Ash Mafar and his lovely wife, Ashmahan, Ashmahan, as well as the uh, media 
tech and support staffs around the globe for their good health and safety, please. Also, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't mention Omar and Yusuf, so play, pray for the entire Mufar family, please. And also pray for the media staff, the uh, tech staff, as well as the support staff, as I mentioned. Okay, we have some announcements tonight. We'd like to bring them to your attention. And uh, uh, once again, I've gotten some rather sad news about one of my dearest friends of over 25 years. And I'd like to offer up that we send out prayers uh, to, to my friend Gary and his uh, son. Uh, that would be wonderful if you can keep them in your prayers. Uh, he has an issue with uh, reoccurrence of the big C. And uh, I don't have uh, many details and wouldn't share them anyway. Gary's a very private person. But I figured if we can get the prayer warriors praying, well, that's a good thing. So prayer warriors, get to work, please. All right. There's a lot of folks within on passive that need your prayers, too. So lift them up in your prayers, your thoughts, sending them your love and light, please. All right. Announcement wise, uh, we have several. Uh, the 10 day extension is here. It's live and it's until the 31st or the 1st, depending on when you uh, subscribe to OConnect. For OConnect, along with the free trial extension of OTracker, which is now with us. So we got a lot going on, kids. We got a lot going on. <clears throat> Let's remember to migrate if we haven't without hesitation. So it's migration without hesitation, please. Check out the OnPassive's newest website, which we recommend you do. It's a lovely blue this week. And check out the Unpassive YouTube channel. It's chock full of long, shorts, and medium uh, videos uh, produced by uh, Unpassivians, global affiliates, as well as the uh, media staff here at Unpassive. Check out uh, Mohammed William Nazal on X with his comments, his blog, and anything else that has to do with Unpassive. All right, so blogs and videos of all things OP. Uh, log into your OES and check out the ticker. You can see the ticker, lovely little ticker coming across the bottom. Uh, we've blown it up so you can see it. And this is about all things on passive for those of you uh, needing a bird's eye view of what's been happening. All right, there's blogs and videos of all things on passive. They're longs, they're shorts, they're mediums. They come in black and white and color. Log into your OES and check out the ticker and pop-ups, if you would, please. Steve Rupi Day. Hop on and O-Connect when you have time. No one is twisting your arm, pushing you, uh, other than mentioning it to you. So uh, be a host or a co-host on an O-Connect. You'll be glad you did. And if you know of anyone needing help, if you know of anybody needing help, just help them all because helping one helps us all at the same time. Yeah. So uh, helping one helps us all. Remember that, please. And attend all webinars and chats as you can, as you may. Subscribe to O-Connect when it becomes available again. Oh, yeah, that means the apples are going to start flowing again. Subscribe to O-Connect, as we mentioned, when it becomes available, and subscribe again and again over the months. You'll be glad you did. All right, we hope there's no buffering tonight. There has been buffering over the last few nights on the uh, live stream going out. So let us know in the chat if you see such, please. All right. We're going to get after the topic in just one moment. I think now would be a good time for that. We're talking smart water movement. We're talking smart water as it affects all of us. It's a great innovation, this smart water, water thing, okay? The smart water movement refers to and includes the adoption of data-driven technology. 
know where that comes from. I'm passive. And resolutions, or solutions, I should say, to address modern challenges in water distribution. Mm. And this is important for the whole planet, not just for you out there, you on passivians. It's good for everybody, everybody, everybody. Yeah. All right. So everybody, this is the smart water movement refers to us all. All right. So let's talk a little bit about smart water movement refers to the adoption of a data driven technology and solutions to address modern challenges in water distribution and management involved here are the use of sensors uh, monitoring systems and analytics to optimize water usage in other words detect leaks maintain water quality and improve overall efficiency isn't that what this is all about with on passive getting to be the very best all over the globe and that's how on passive does it through mr mafara that's how we do it on roblin live do we mumble stumble and bumble at times oh yes we do but for the most part we are here for you and we will continue to be here for you as long as mr mafara will have us all right so uh within uh, the distribution and management of clean water potable water i should say involved here is the use of sensors monitoring systems and analytics to optimize water usage detect leaks along the way maintain water quality and improve i said get better improve overall efficiency how cool is all that all right. There are a number of key aspects of the smart water movement or system, and here are just a few. So before we get off on this tangent here, talking about uh, smart water management, we, Robin Live, uh, would like to, okay, here we go. We would just like to say, stay focused, everybody, okay? Stay alert, stay ready to rumble. That's the name of the game here. And remember, real-time monitoring and analytics sensors are used to collect data in real time on water flow, pressure, water pressure, quality, and usage patterns. And I might go over to Miss Nakamoto to see if she'd like to say a few hellos before we move on. Are you busy? That's okay. Um, let me look at the YouTube. See what's going on with YouTube. All right. All right. Go to our channel. And I see Karina Lance and Roy Davies and Michael Chatter there and John Barilla. So we've got four monitors monitoring now, which is not too Shopping. All right. Thank you to Michael Chatta, of course, for the beautiful emojis that he presents uh, that relate to the topic on a nightly basis. So thank you, Michael. Okay. Uh, all right. Go ahead. I'm um, trying to get to the channel. It's, I see it, but it's not opening up. So I don't know if it's a Well, that's not glitch. good. But you can see it, right? I can. So... You might have to do that. All right. Hello to Jillian Hanna, Greg Lakin, of course, John Barilla, of course, Michael Chatta, and uh, others. Let me scroll to the top so we don't miss anybody. Uh, Rao Saheb is here. Mr. Pandav, hello. Chandan is here. Uh, Coffee Naidu is here. Hello, Coffee Naidu, the room. Greg Lakin, as we mentioned. Jillian Hanna, of course, as we mentioned. Bruce Gerstein is uh, here, and welcome to you, Bruce. We're glad you're here. Shandon is here, as well as Kushal Pegu, who is one of uh, our moderators as well. So, Shandon, as I mentioned, Roy Davies, Johnny Simmons in the house. Hello, JB, JS, and uh, there's Roy Davies again, Michael Chatta again, of course, Karina Lance. 
on top of her game. Mo Khan is here. Welcome to you from the from the UK, Mo. We're glad you're here as well. All right. There's Jillian again and Loha Ray. Loha Ray is here, of course. And Jagana. Oh, wait a minute. Jagan Ada Rayo is here as well. As well. All right. Let's keep scrolling and see if we have others joining us. This is fun tonight. Nagaraj is here. Nagaraj is here. And Ashit is here. As well as many, 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 many others too. Thank you all. All right. We appreciate that from each and every one of you. On passive. Jillian is here. Greg Lakin is here as well, as we mentioned. And let's keep scrolling. John Baria. John Barilla is here. Welcome, John. And we assume you'll be singing a song tonight, which is good stuff. Yes. And let's keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Kushal Pegu is here. Irenastek Sala is here. Uh, there are 31 of you in the YouTube chat. So welcome to each and every one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And boom, there we go. Yeah. All right, should we go over to O-Connect now and see how many folks we have there? That'd be good if you can do that. I can do that as well, and then we'll get on with the topic. All right, here we go. Here's the chat. Let's take a peek at it here, if we may. And uh, let's see. see the chat. Okay. We'll come back to the chat when we can. Are you able to see the, the chat? Um, okay, hold on. All right, let's look at the chat. Let me slow it down so we can see better. All right, let's start from, I'm going to start from the bottom instead. I see Carmilla. With her beautiful hashtags. If you want to share your hashtags in our chat, feel free to do so. Do so. Armin Hulk is here. He's Welcome, saying good, good morning to this friends. That's nice. Jillian is here. Sukumar Biswa says hello, everyone, and good morning. Now, Garash is with us. He's usually the very first to come in. Very, very fast, always. And we have Deborah Long. Deborah, I think maybe she's going to teach signs tonight. Let me know. We have Ola Sumbo Kuye. Welcome. He's saying hello, my global family. And Sukumar is greeting us. Robin Live and Ollie, the Wonder Dog. Hello. Good morning. Good morning to you, Sukumar. It's really nice. Uh, we got, let me scroll up a bit. Let's see who else we have. John Barilla. He says, hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to Roblin Live, today's news today. Everybody's favorite, not so late, nor early, variety chat show. Plus tonight, a song and hopefully some wonderful signing and a great topic. Thank you, John. We have Nagaraj saying hi to everyone. And Don Swiart is here. Welcome, Don. And who comes along with Dawn, I might add? DL, her husband. McConaughey in the house, all right. Yes, and I see Greg Miller is with us. He's saying, hello, everyone. And Isabel Bailey's here. She's always with us, never skips a night. And hello to Michelle Weaver. She says, happy Friday, good evening, Roblin Live and on Passive Family. Roy Davies is here. I also saw him in the Facebook group. Thank you also for greeting people there in Facebook. And he's also on YouTube. Thank you very much. Um, scrolling up, scrolling up. We have Chief uh, Chief Chiluka, or is it Chifuka? I think it's Chiluka Ravi. Let me get my magnifying glass here. It's Chiluka, Chiluka Ravi. Welcome. I know I have my 
my font said on large, but I need extra large. Then I could see better. Chiluka Ravi sending hearts to everyone. How nice. Manuel Oneguli, Oneguli is in the house. Oh, how nice. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Um, I might have gotten everybody. I'm scrolling up to uh, Roy, I think. Carmela. Carmela's here saying hello, everyone. Welcome, Carmela. And I see Malika <coughs> Guemori from Algeria. Welcome, Malika. Totally global tonight. Oh, and nice. uh, Doma Lepka is here as well. Welcome. Yes, and I see Sadananda Das is here. And he says, UAE is United Arab Emirates. Thank you for that. Um, I think I think I got everybody. Armin Hoag, I said, right? Right. I'm Armin. Welcome, Armin. Deborah Long, Roy Davies. I do think I caught everybody. All right. And then tomorrow we do want to mention that uh, Seafood Francis Tay will be on uh, with, what is it now, OES? Oh, yeah, OES. Um, classroom, I think. OES Classroom, uh-huh. It's going to be at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So join us. We'll post in the back office and also in the Roblin Live Messenger group and the OES uh, WhatsApp groups in the Roblin Live WhatsApp groups. And it'll be posted pretty much everywhere. So you can't miss it. So remember, it's at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And remember tomorrow, uh, Sifu Francis, that's at 9.30, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. At uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 9.30 p.m. Asia Pacific Time. Yes, and then we say hi to Momodu who just popped in. Welcome Hello. to our show. All right, so we're good. Momodu Lepka in the house. Oh, no, Doma Lepka and Momodu. <laughs> Hello. Hello again. All right, Momodu. Welcome, welcome. Let's get back on uh, track here with the topic. Real-time monitoring with uh, our topic, water, smart water. Okay? Real-time monitoring and analytics combine sensors as well as other equipment used to collect data in real time on water flow, pressure, quality, and usage patterns. Ooh, yeah. The data gained is therein uh, analyzed and with the use of advanced analytics and machine learning algorithms, where do we keep hearing this stuff? Everywhere off passive is. Insights are gained and informed decisions can be made. Nothing wrong with that. So the more, the merrier when it comes to information, of course. Leak detection now and prevention. Small leaks can get to be big leaks. All can be detected by monitoring flow rates, how fast the water is flowing, mm -hmm. and usage patterns. Usage patterns. The more advanced systems can even automatically shut off the water supply whenever a leak is detected, thereby preventing water loss and potential damage to property. Hmm. Very interesting. So we've given you some food for thought so far. We're going to continue on now, if we may. And we may. Let's get rid of this if we can. There it goes. All right. So. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me back up the bus. Okay, the smart water movement, a part, uh, I think we're going to be part of that. Uh, movement to, refers to the adoption of data-driven technologies and solutions. Yeah. To the address. Modern challenges in water distribution and management, of course, are involved here with the use of sensors, sensors, monitoring systems and analytics to optimize water usage, detect leaks, maintain water quality, and improve overall efficiency. That's how we roll it, Rob, 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 with Roblin Live. Ali. The wonder dog. True that, true that. And uh, here are a number of key aspects 
of smart water movement and here and remember this is just a few you may have some of your very own so let's get after it here uh, real-time monitoring uh, and analytics uses sensors which we told you about already and ties it in with machine learning algorithms so leak detection is next up and prevention small leaks become big leaks or can be detected by monitoring patterns. The more advanced systems can even automatically shut off the water supply whenever a leak is detected. So that is good stuff. Preventing water loss, and as we mentioned, property damage as well. Now, here's a very important point here, water quality. And this is something we need to pay close and strict attention to. Sensors and treatment facilities and distribution networks are continuously monitoring water for impurities. Yeah. Allowing utilities to address water quality issues every day before they escalate. So, before they get out of hand. Let's talk efficient water, shall we? Let's give it a couple of minutes. And do you have anybody else you want to say hello to or check in with or um, You're in, busy? in a bit, in a bit. All righty, uh, We've already done that once, but we like to cover all the bases as well. There's Nagaraj on Nagaraj on YouTube, and Roy Davies, of course, moderating on our YouTube channel. All right, Carmela Schwartz is there as well. Jillian Hanna, as I mentioned, Kushal Pegu, and Karina Lance, Juanita Slack is in the house as well and there's kushal and doma and karina and nagaraj the gang is all here so good stuff all Very the way nice. around wonderful right. okay now preventive maintenance shall we let's talk preventive maintenance preventive maintenance uses again sensor data and historical analysis enables a proactive approach to maintenance thereby allowing utilities to identify and address potential equipment failures before they occur before they get out of hand and that causes a reduction in cost and downtime yeah that's what we do at Roblin live we streamline all right and now and also i should say there is customer engagement, and this is very, very important. Smart water solutions often include a mobile phone app and customer portal, to which enabling utilities to provide real-time usage data alerts is the norm. And notifications to customers uh, when and where potable water and conservation uh, and engagement uh, uh, occur. So keep your eyes out for that. Now, in addition to all this, let's sum up, shall we? We've got a little bit of a summary here. To sum it all up, the smart water movement has as its goal transforming traditional, that's right, traditional water management practices by leveraging data and technology together to create more sustainable and efficient, resilient, drinkable, potable water systems which address uh, challenges such as aging infrastructure, old pipes, uh, water scarcity, and of course, environmental concern. So that com concludes our uh, topic for the evening. Uh, we're talking a great innovation smart water so let's get after it let's talk about it let's bring some of you or all of you or any of you to the panel sounds good shall we all right all right all right together we will roll good morning good afternoon and good evening to all so thank you everybody for being here we're happy we've got an understanding of uh, both uh, uh, mutual ritual uh, partners in all of things on passive, all of things 
you know, where you just lend a hand because lending a hand, helping one helps us all. Please remember to sign out and please, please, please sign back in on a regular basis so you can find out today's news today, when it's happening, where it's happening, et cetera, et cetera, and another et cetera. <laughs> All right, now we're going to slide the screen over so we're ready for you big kids. So stand by. We'll be right with you. There it is. We're bigger now on the screen, which is a good thing. There I am on the upper left exit uh, stage and, left. And we want to say hi to folks on Facebook. I see Lakhan Lal is here. Roy Davies is here. Chris Tiazon. Eddie Mercado Garcia from Tampa, Florida. I see Patience is with us, Patience Okere, saying hello, on passive family, very nice. And Irena Stixala is there as well. So welcome to everyone, and we appreciate you hanging out with us on Facebook. We do give you the option of popping on over to the YouTube live stream or actually joining us on the O-Connect webinar. And the links are provided for you in the comments of your group. We would love it. We'd like to, speaking of love, we'd like to send a special thank you out to Sifu Francis Tay for that super sticker. Thank you, Francis. Thank you very, very much. Very kind of you, brother. Thank you. And let's uh, move along a little bit. And now I think we could, it's uh, not too early. Let's see what time it is. Ah, it's almost quarter till it's uh, 8.40 right now. We can bring some folks onto the panel and get this discussion rolling. What do you think? That sounds good. And the instructions on how to do so are in the ticker below created by Michael Chata. All you have to do is click on the speaker request icon, which will appear along with the, all your other icons and buttons. Click on it and then we will bring you in. All right. So we encourage you to come in and get to know each other on the panel. It's a fun place to be. And hello to CISO. He says, hello to everyone. Thank you for joining us, CISO. Thank you, thank you. And I see Roy Davies is here, Sarananda, Carmela, Sukumar, Mel Mel is here in the chat, as well as, of course, John Barilla, Roy Davies, uh, Jillian. So are you guys ready? I'm going to enable the functionality so that you can come to the panel. And here we go. All right, just request it and we will bring you in. First to chime in is Deborah Long. Welcome, Deb. DL is the first to request to be a speaker. Welcome, Deborah. Welcome, Deborah. glad you're here. And next we have John Barilla, JJB. Tin Man. Tin Man. Yeah. And we're going to ask him our usual nightly question. John, will you be singing for us tonight? That's right. And we do hope he will be. Next, we have Mel Mel coming in. Melanie Marcano. Welcome, John. Welcome. Hi, John. Hello. Hello, hello. The singing guy. Are you going to sing tonight? Yes, yes, I am. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And who else you got? For? We got Mel Mel, who just came in. Hello, Melanie Marcano from Canada. And hello to Deborah. Deb Long from the USA. <laughs> Welcome, Deb. Sending her love to everybody. And now we go to Carmela. Carmela Schwartz, the rose, the, is, the is, almost said Italian rose, but I <laughs> meant Israeli rose. She's coming in. Welcome, Israeli rose. Wonderful to have Carmela with us as always. And now we go to, hi, Carmela. We got uh, Don coming in, Don Swihart. All right, Don Swihart, which means D.L. McConaughey is probably not far behind. That's right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Next, we have Cecil Weir. Cecil Weir. Welcome. Welcome, Cecil. We're glad you're here as well. Hi, Don. Hi, Cecil. Here he is. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. And now we go to Pedro Estrada. Pedro Jose Estrada Saladas. 
Yeah. Coming in now. From the Solaris family. All right. Welcome, Pedro. Yeah, welcome to all. We hope that we'll have more than, than I mean, this is a good group, but I think we want to have more. We so love the more the merrier. Hopefully we'll have more coming in over the next half an hour or an hour as people start to wake up. It is early for folks in India and Bangladesh. We do realize that. That's true. Mm -hmm. So this is it for now. This is our group. All right. This is our panel. Then this is the panel we go with for now. And we're talking tonight a great innovation, smart water management. Some of you in some of the foreign countries, foreign to the United States, around the globe, are experienced water management problems. So this topic is right up your alley. Uh, Carmela Schwartz from Israel. Go ahead, Here Carmela. Here she goes, Carmela. I want to I say that Israel is a innovation in water. Do you hear me well? I have I hear new noise. No, you go ahead. Myself? You're good. Go ahead. Please. Now it's now it's quiet. Okay. Yes, Matt Hatter had his mic uh, open. Oh. Hey, I, I wanted to say that Israel is in the in, in innovation with the water, uh, and uh, they have uh, invented uh, uh, some things uh, to uh, make uh, water from uh, from sea to bring it to for a drink. And uh, I said uh, I will send you a link. It's a lot to say, and it's hard for me in, in, in English. I can send you a link in the chat, and you can read it in Google. What Israel is doing in the... Uh, and uh, how we, we are developing things for all over the world about water, saving water, because we had uh, many years that uh, Israel have no water, oh. and we, we have to deal to ourselves. So we did it here for ourselves, and we uh, brought it to the old world uh, needed. Oh, really? That's good to know. Yes. So I, I put the link now on the chat. You can read it in Google. Thank you. Thank you very much. All righty. Sounds good. Thank you, Carmela Schwartz. Carmela Schwartz. We, we appreciate you. Let's go. Uh, let's swing on over to uh, Canada, if we may. And let's hear from Melanie Mel Mel Sunshine Marcano. Thank you, Rob. Good good evening, Celine and everybody else. Good evening. Um, Camilla, it's funny, you heard me, you probably read my mind. The very same thing that I was going to talk about almost. Because <laughs> in um, my country, um, they are setting up Dominica has a lot of rivers, right? and um, they want to maintain these rivers because you know over the years these rivers can dry out because of everything with the adverse we um, weather effect so now they're they're going marine wise that's through the sea camilla as you said so we have the same project going on in dominica right now just like israel and it's um they're using robotics to go deep down into the sea i think to run pipes to run some sort of pipes. I'm not sure what the pipes are made of because I mean the seawater can affect it, right? And they're running it into um, bringing it up to the surface and having reservoir on ground so that this water can have um, be sterilized and be cleaned to run into homes and wherever, facilities and all. So it's similar to what Kamela is saying. Um, I think they are setting it up in certain countries where there's quite a bit of water because in my country we, we supply um other islands with water because of the rivers that we have running because dominica is a place where they said if christopher columbus he didn't discover us but anyhow they said if he want to return to dominica he would have found it in its state that it, you know kind of in its natural state so we still maintain our rivers and everything nice cool water so they're using our country to run this um, project, and it's a huge project, very huge project, using robotics. So that will supply islands nearby, and maybe who knows where else it will go. 
So I'm happy that they're doing that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the water management um, system that is, is set in place right now, Rob and Lynn. Thank and you. can you hear me very well? Yeah, okay. Yes, you're uh, loud and clear. Thank okay, you. Thank you. I thought my volume was low. Okay. That's Your good. Volume's good. Volume's good. All right. Well, let's come back to the United States and speak with uh, DL and Dawn in Ohio, USA. Go ahead, kids. Hello, everyone. It's good to see everyone. Um, my question is with all these deceleration plants, that cleans the water from the ocean or you know sterilizes it and and there's 177 countries that have them why isn't why isn't there more we have so much water that can be cleaned and so many countries that i mean i think about this this school in africa where they're having problems getting water to the school i mean it doesn't seem like it should be so hard i mean i i don't know i i guess i'm I can't quite figure it all out, but um, why there just isn't more water being cleaned mm -hmm. for Well, I can, I can uh, answer that with regard to the United States. Uh, no other country uh, do I have knowledge of, but here the cost to desalinate water from the ocean or the Gulf of Mexico, uh, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, uh, or uh, the Gulf of Mexico is very, very costly, the cost of these plants. And uh, up until now, I think it's going to change real quickly. Uh, that's just my gut feeling. Uh, up until now, that has been the real reason why, you know, they have used these plants the way they have. But I think that's going to be changing because uh, there's such a, there's not a shortage of water because of the oceans and the Gulf of Mexico and all the gulfs around the world. Uh, I, it just may take a little more time, but I think you will see uh, these desalination plants really start firing up and firing and then flowing, I should say. Very good. So for now, I think it's strictly a cost thing. Uh, uh, we found here in the Tampa Bay, uh, Florida area, they built a desalination plant and found out they didn't have the funds to run it. Now, I would have thought, uh, not that I'm a genius or not that I'm a politician, they would have thought that out first. Anyway, I think it'll be here with us to uh, to stay for a long time. Okay, I, I just thought with all the water that we have, it just seems like, I mean, I realize it costs money, but but things are looking up. They Thanks, are, Robert. and things are flowing, starting to flow. No pun intended, of course. All right. So thank you for being here. Did DL want to chime in with you, or is he standing by? He's right here. Yeah, I don't know too, really too much about the subject of desalination plants. I know they're costly, but uh, the cost of people not having water is even costlier, in my opinion. <clears throat> so uh, basically, I mean, water resource management with smart water is just a, a basically a different municipalities and cities being able to manage their water uh, systems more efficiently is uh, is what I think. But uh, and again, I don't I'm not a water project expert or anything, but uh, I, I agree with Rob. I think things are going to looking up as far as desalination goes. I mean, that seems to be the answer. Just got to figure out a way to make it uh, less expensive, obviously. Back to you, Rob. All right. Well, I think just like with uh, computers, uh, cell phones, uh, the cost uh, once they're fully developed and in, in big time use, the cost will come down. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So it's all about the, uh, the jingle, I guess. So hopefully, uh, uh, things are changing. Let's go back to Israel. To, uh, go ahead, Dio. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say prayers, for, obviously, for everybody in Papua New Guinea. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. I consider uh, Nancy Yagabi a good friend of mine, and she's from there. So um, I pray that everybody's okay and uh, and the toll isn't as bad as they uh, say it is. So back to you, Rob. Thanks. Right. And uh, we notice Elizabeth is not with us tonight by day. Elizabeth Priscilla by day to be exact and we hope she's fine and uh, just maybe there's a, a power situation you know uh, uh, that may have occurred there shortage of power all right thank you back to me and over to Israel let's go back to Carmela what do you got for us there Rose all 
right, I guess she has nothing at the moment. Carmela, are you there? Do you hear me? You are audible, loud, and clear. Okay. Uh, I want to say that uh, we have a, a, a lot of uh, innovation in Israel. Uh, and uh, water was a uh, many years a problem here. And because of that, we uh, we developed a, a technology for water, many technology for the agriculture, to drinking, to many technology of water. And uh, some of them uh, we sell to the world, uh, and we are first one that bring it out. And uh, many others copy us, but it's okay. We need the world to be a better place. It's not only Israel to save the world, but we start with our idea and people uh, copy. Like today, I've heard that uh, uh, I have a, a, a something very strange a few minutes ago on my telephone. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg asked me to verify myself in Facebook which is a uh, surprise me. Who he's asked you to verify yourself? He's scary, I, I think. Who, who, asked? who asked you to yeah. verify yourself? Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he asked me to verify myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In his face, a, a video is talking. No, and he I, asked, would ignore uh, that. I would ignore that. I don't I know, think I didn't. I, I wouldn't do that, but uh, uh, he, he did it. In, in Facebook, he put a, a video, he asked people to uh, to verify it and he uh, suggests money and uh, and he mentioned on passive. So it was that's very strange for me. Yeah, I would say that's a scam. Stay clear of it. Yeah. That would be my advice. Uh, I'm no expert in scams, although I have been scammed. Uh, so I would say clear that. Maybe it's Mark a scam. Huckenberg. I don't know, but I didn't. I didn't touch it. He said Meta will call you. Oh yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, Meta will call uh, you. One. I would believe more that Rob Gorman or Lynn Nakamoto would call you before Mark Zuckerberg. That that is a scam, Carmela. I know for sure. Ignore it. I ignore yes. it. I know I ignore it, but I must tell you that you you have to be careful. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank People you. have to know that uh, somebody is trying to play games with us. Uh, Ashufa always tell tell us when we are being growing. People are uh, uh, be uh, uh, behind uh, to try to to do harm. So yeah. uh, be aware. And just to know that know as that. the world figures out that founders have such a good income stream, income we're going to become targets of scammers. So it's important to be very vigilant and careful and aware. Yes. Well, all righty. Thank you for that, Carmela. Let's now, uh, I think we're going to Pedro Jose. Estrada Salatis. Go ahead, Pedro. Yes, good evening, everyone. Uh, good uh, morning uh, in Asia and uh, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, at, uh, just to touch on what Carmela is saying about uh, emails, we had an article, uh, we had uh, a warning from in the back office some time ago that uh, anyone asking for wallet information or anything related to money, it was a scam. So uh, this, no doubt, is, is the same thing. So you, you have to just ignore this kind of thing. And, uh, and just, just to reinforce what she said, you have to be careful. Uh, John was saying that uh, it's more than likely it's a scam. Don't report anything. So anyway, uh, Talking about uh, water management, uh, I was surprised to read an article or a portion of an article on uh, 
published by the National Geographic uh, uh, publication. Uh, in the amount of water that is at our disposal, fresh water that we can use around the world. And it has struck me because I didn't know this. The article says, uh, start with a question, will there be enough water? It said, uh, it said that only 2% of the total volume of Earth's water is fresh. And two thirds of that consumable supply is frozen in polar and glacier zones, leaving less than 1% as liquid fresh. Oh, that's amazing. So it's very little. We have to learn how to conserve this uh, and, and to, to, you know, ways to care for it. Uh, later, if there is time, I will read uh, about uh, uh, smart building smart buildings using techniques how to conserve water but uh it's a it's a subject that we have to be aware of there have been several articles i have read several articles and uh, there is ways that we personally can do for example uh <laughs> and this might sound funny but brushing your teeth if you can help it to put it in the in the tub when you're rinsing and that, I think that uh, that conserves more water or, 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 or using the toilet, you know, whatever, when you're spitting out, whatever, you rinse in your mouth. Uh, in shaving, you, have, you can say, we men can save water by collecting in the, in the sink just enough water to warm up our face, better if it's hot water because it softens the beard or, 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 or whatever you have to shave. And it's easier to shave it, quicker, easier. Uh, so several things that we can do. Uh, somebody suggests the other thing, but I, I am not going to expand on that. A very, very timely subject because everywhere there is need for fresh water. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. That's all I'd like to share. All right. Well, thank you, Pedro. Just ask the fine folks of Flint, Michigan. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm sure you've been following that, uh, uh, Dawn. Uh, they could use a little fresh water for sure. All right. Let's, uh, let's check out... Uh, uh, who all else might be here? Anybody else want to come in? Um, we had Srijit come in and uh, Greg Hill just came in. Too. All right. Welcome to Srijit. Welcome to Greg Hill. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Less uh, two. That's eleven on the panel. Not too shabby. And we already for have a Friday night. We got fifty in our webinar. That's pretty good for a Friday night. That would be. Well, that isn't bad. 50 in the webinar. And let's take a look at uh, YouTube and what is going on Friday, in YouTube. Friday, 30, no, 42. Yeah, because usually Friday night, sometimes people have stuff to do, right, on a weekend or Friday night. So, And you could be elsewhere uh, within On Passive, and we know that. But for 93 of you to be here, that fires me up. Thank that you. That fires the mad hatter right the heck up and we appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know yes and if we're if, if yes we do because most of the folks here tonight are regulars who are with us every night or if maybe for you it's every day but who are here regularly and that means a lot to us it means a lot to rob and me yes it does it's right from our heart to your hearts okay we love you and we appreciate you thank you to all of you means the world to us it, it makes this worthwhile okay uh there are times when we're not rested and we're working on you know preparing for our evening broadcast uh and we just reach back deeply and grab on to the fact that so many of you uh you show your love and and affection towards us uh in the roblin live chat uh in other chats uh in the messenger uh in the um WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp as well. That means the world to us. That makes this whole thing worthwhile. And we're eternally grateful. And thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, one thing I did not mention in my announcements is the holiday in the United States, which will be this coming Monday. It's known as Memorial Day, where we honor those of our fallen heroes. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's military or whether it's our police officers and firemen who've lost their lives valiantly doing their jobs. But we want to say, uh, don't say Happy Memorial Day. Say good Memorial Day to you, uh, pass the hot dog. Uh, that's what we recommend. Uh, I had someone today at the bank say happy Memorial Day to me, and I'm thinking to myself, is she talking to me? So at any rate, it's a good moral, Memorial Day to all, and uh, ooh, Father's Day is coming up soon. Woo-hoo! Look out, you daddies. Yeah. Father's Day is on the way. And, and I- just happened to see that Elizabeth Bade is there in YouTube. So I just said to her, you know, prayers and hugs for the victims and the families of that horrible uh, landslide. So it's nice that she's here in the YouTube chat. Yeah, that's for sure. We appreciate you being here, Elizabeth. Please give us an update on any uh, situations uh, involving unpassivians, if you would. Uh, if you're able to come on, you can even put it in the chat where you are on YouTube. That'd be just as good. She so said that, you. um, sorry, Rob Lynn, I'm going in and out and I'll listen at the background on YouTube. Love you all. So her internet mm-hmm. uh, connection was weak today, so she couldn't come into our webinar, but she's with us here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Very nice. Very nice. And a welcome to us, Regent. Welcome to uh, all who are here. Uh, Greg, uh, uh, what's that guy's name? Hill. Greg Hill, that guy. Yeah, he's with us tonight. Yes, so nice. Very nice. Yes, he is. He'll be doing honeydews either uh, to later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, if I had to hazard a guess. So. And I want to say very uh, my thanks to the YouTube moderators. We have Kushal there, and Kushal Pegu. Karina Lance is there. We have uh, Michael Chada there as well. Roy Davies is uh, on the Facebook side. I think he might be also here on the YouTube side. And, of course, John Barilla. He always is there. He pops in, in and out, because he's on our panel, as you can see. But thank you, John, as well. We appreciate all of you for what you do for us. It enables us to focus on the show itself and not have to worry about trolls, because if there are any trolls, you guys get them so fast. So thank you. We appreciate thank and love you, moderator. And we love your commitment and dedication to our show. We appreciate you so much. All right, let's take a peek. Anybody else uh, with their hand up? Let's go to Srijit in India. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, Rob. Hello. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? You're audible and namaste, namaskar, sir. Namaste, namaste, Rob. Namaste, everyone. Uh, uh, today's subject is smart water management, a very good subject. Uh, I want to start a little bit on this uh, matter. Uh, according to several NGOs, about 1.1 billion of people worldwide lack access of water, you know, and a total of 2.7 billion and find water scarce for at least one month of the year. Climate change and growing population are, main, are, are some of the main reasons uh, for this problem. Sometimes poor water management are reason of this problem. A good reservoir system and a smart water management system can solve these issues. Smart water management aims to guide uh, the utilization of water you know, in a manner that drives efficiently, e- efficiency and these systems can provide a more resilient and efficient water supply system, reducing cost and improving sustainability. These te- technological solutions for the water sector include uh, digital metering, sensors, supervisory control, and data acquisition. Uh, what, I, what we usually call SCADA, SCADA, SCADA systems, and a geographical information systems, GIS, uh, may solve this issue uh, to a high, higher degree. That's all I wanted to say, sir. Thank you. Regent, thank you. Thank you, as always, for your uh, commentary there and comments. Appreciate you. Uh, hopefully, you can hang out with us for a while. Uh, we expect to see a few more of your uh, Indian uh, 
uh, associates joining us, which happens every night in about another 10, 15 minutes. So thank you for being here, sir. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, let's see where we're going now or next, I should say. It's now 9.04. Uh, we're going to go to about 10 o'clock again tonight. We're trying to keep it at two hours, so we keep everybody's interest uh, at, a, at a nice level. So uh, we do want to say, uh, have you heard from Pat Green lately? Um, not lately. Just the time I mentioned that she said she, her, she was achy in her arm. But she did show up here. So I think she's feeling better because she's able to attend, you know? Right. Well, we appreciate that. And we want to say hello to Kushal Kumar. Kushal, who, welcome, sir. Who, welcome, welcome. Who, who we all know as Kushal Pegu. He's Pegu. a moderator, one of our moderators for our show. And he's coming in. It's really nice to have you, Kushal. And it looks like uh, Deb Long will be teaching, I'm just told. I think Deb and Cecil both. All right. All right. Deb, you'll be teaching tonight. Deb, yes, yes, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you, thank, thank you. you for that. We appreciate you. And let's see, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, uh, fourteen on the panel. Less two would be twelve. So that's a nice size panel yeah. for a Friday night. Uh, there are. Uh, 42 on YouTube. Now that's not too shabby yes. for a Friday night. That's a good turnout on YouTube, especially. Right, 42, and here we have 52. Wait a minute, that's 94. Are we pushing 100 already? And India is not even awake yet. Wow. And, say hi to Doggy. Say hi to Kushal. Hi, Kushal. Kushal Pegu. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Thank you. I'm going to take a screenshot because I never get to see you and you're here today. It's really special. Wow. Welcome, Kushal. Welcome, sir. So everybody smile and let's take a picture. Yes. Well, I have Kushal Thank you. with you. Love you, Hi, Kushal. Kushal. Thank you for all you do for Namaste, us. Namaste, brother. Namaste. Yeah, Namaste. well, I don't think I've ever seen Thank Kushal you. in the video. Hi, Kushal. Oh, isn't it nice? So take a picture and we'll have a... Hello, oh, John Barilla. Everybody knows. Okay, everybody do it. I love you. Kushal, I love you. All right, we love you. One, I love you. One, two, three. There we love go. you, Kushal. All right, namaste, namaste. Love you, Sridhar. Kushal. Sridhar, what do you think of that? Uh, Kushal, hop yes, on. Exciting. It's nice to see you. All, all this time, you know, we talked, and I never got to see you actually on camera, so it's nice to see you. Yeah, this is my first time. Uh, I am very thankful to you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. You've been so, so loyal as a moderator for us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you wow. for your appreciation. You betcha. You better believe it. Uh, well, it's early. Uh, do you want to get into the signing and uh, see if some more? Or is anybody else coming on the panel? Or not yet? Uh, no, nobody else. Let's see if they're they're ready to teach. Let's see if she. Okay. If they usually write for. Me. Okay, so Deb Deb has her list. Oh, Deb is ready. She has her list. That's wonderful. And uh, Cecil, I don't see him right now. Oh, he's off camera. I don't know. Let's start with um, Deb. Oh, there you are. Are you ready? You have a list? You have a list? So, um, one more thing to do, and he'll have a list ready. Okay. So let's start with uh, Deborah tonight. Okay. We'll start with Deb. Okay. Everybody keep muted. Whoop. Wait a minute. Hello, everybody. I guess I'd be just, uh, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, just talking about the water. Okay. I'll do my best, but that's a tough one. Smart, with middle finger, smart, water, W, water on your chin. Manage, management, smart, water, Management. Uh, keep moving it up. 
water covers 70% of the planet. Water cover, cover, number seven, zero percent. It's like a percent of the planet or the world. Fresh is up. Fresh is like new. Fresh, fresh water is only three percent. Three percent. Two thirds. Two thirds are hidden in the frozen glaciers. We can't use it yet until it melts. It's not bad. Climate is the weather. I just weather. Weather change, growing population, people flooding out. Uh, the main the main reason is causing this problems. Problem, alternate problems. And they do a lot of work to detect leak. Means the wash. Leak. Leak. We have to manage water better. Quality, quality. We need to improve, improve. Prevention, you don't want the water to get really bad with diseases, make you sick, everything. Data, information, and they have sensors. It's like a meter that will tell us. Yep, there you are. That's all I have. Have a good day and good weekend. All, all right. right, all right, all right. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Deb. Okay, so let's go back to the grid here, see if what's up, so you can check it out. All right. Um, no hands raised. I don't see hands raised. Okay. I see Cecil, and he has his list. I see the list now. He's ready. All right. He says, are you guys ready? Do you see me? Scroll up and down to, to find me. There he is. You see me, Cecil, right? He says, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Okay, the first word is pictures. Make a letter C from your cheek. Place it on your palm. Picture. It's like your image going onto a piece of paper. So that's why this is a sign. Picture. Okay, next is camera. Looks like a camera to me. Holding the camera and clicking. Films. Films. Movies. Movies. Show, show, meaning a, a play or performance, that kind of show with the thumbs like this. Show, going inwards towards your chest. Show, show.
factors. Actors or actors. Famous. Twirl your fingers, like making little circles upward. Famous, famous. Champions, index finger and your claw hand. Champion, a very kind of a distinct motion. Champion, champion, champ. Winners. This hand shape, winners. Best. 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 Actress. Good job. That's all. Thank you, Cecil. We'll take a picture. Maybe you can um, sign movies. It's easy to see movies. Okay. If Pedro and and she Regent are on my screen, sign movie so that it looks nice. And asking Pedro to sign movie, and then she Regent sign movie. Okay. Ready. Ready. Because they will show in the picture. One, two, three. Movie. Okay. I think better in the grid view. Then everybody shows. Let's take a picture. We'll take a picture once I save this. Okay, let's go to grid view. Alrighty. View grid. Take a sign, Cecil, to everyone will take a picture with together. Which sign? Oh, okay. That is um, film. F I L M, right? Film? Film. Can you, film. Can you see? Film. Everybody sign film. Copy, copy, CISO. Okay, ready? What? Oh, oh, Deborah's gone. All right, shucks. Don't see Deborah. Deborah. She has problems with her internet. They're kind of weak, weak internet. Okay, one, two, Three. Okay, Gregory, we're signing movie. Okay. Ready? Oh, Deb's back. Yay, we're signing, we're doing movie. Picture. Deb, we're going to take a picture now. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Now. Okay. Thank you. All right, well, thank you, everybody, wait, wait, no. for bearing with us on the pictures. Deb gets to pick a sign. The one with her. Hers. Right. Okay, so Deb's sign is water. Water. Letter W with the index finger touching your lips. Like this. Water. All right. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Sign water. Did you sign water, honey? I'm sorry, I did not. Okay, we'll, we'll wait again. Okay, let's do it again with my husband. All right. One, two, three. Water. On the lips, honey, look. One hand on the lips. Yeah, okay, ready? Go. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for including me in that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Who knows with this brain of mine. All right, now uh, let's come back and let's go to the grid view again on the panel so we can see what's happening this is and the see grid if there's view. any other. Oh, that's very nice. Why can I see the grid view? What's going on here? 
Um, Yeah. There we go. Hello, everybody. Well, um, I see Don Tanitrees. I do <coughs> see that. And we're going right now to Ohio. Let's hear from you, DL and Don. There we go. No, the only thing I was going to say is that problem in Flint, Michigan was poor management. That's what that was all about. Yeah, I, t I tried to read about that and uh, watch it on the news, and uh, I still feel for the people that are still having problems there. Right, yeah. But it, it was just very poor management there. Yeah, we was all talking about water management today. I got to thinking that's... Uh, that's a perfect example of what not to do as far as water management is concerned. So obviously, uh, thank you, Rob. All right. Well, thank you, DL. Thank you, Dawn. Or thank you, Dawn. And thank you, DL. And All right. Welcome to uh, Puran Singh, who just came in. Puran Singh from India. Welcome, Puran. Welcome. All right. The panel's filling out. All right. We like that. We like that. Uh, John, it's a little early, but uh, early is okay if you want to sing your song. Cool. Well, yes, it is. But, you know, uh, uh, my evil twin was messing around. But I've been, like, desperate here. I've been like, oh, God. And I have to go through several steps. I'm on the last step. While you guys have been talking, I'm panicking here. Come on, let's go, because i got to do several things. I'm on the very last step. It's it's coming up to the song that I want to sing. It's just loading, and I can see it's going step by step. So I think it's just a few more uh, oh. moments. But you might have to just talk for another moment or a minute or so. Uh oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh, hold on now. All right, well, I have to reload it here, but there it is. That's a good sign. Oh, wait a minute. All right. It's still loading, but that's a good sign if we heard the music. Well, we can it's say, coming. We can talk to folks in the chat for a bit. Yeah, say, so, yeah, say hello to some folks, and I'll, I'm sure we'll be back in a moment. Yeah. Okay, so you want to say hi, Frank Rowe. Now, Garage is there. Kushal said, Hello to some people in there, and to read it too. Very nice. I see um, Francis D'Souza saying good morning from India. Sorry to say that I'm not able to attend many webinars for my wife. Joined as uses out and passive is in the hospital due to paralytic attack. Eighth day today. Want all of you to remember her in your prayers for a speedy recovery thank you we are so in it to win it certainly francis leslie de souza we're uh, quite willing to send prayers over your way and hope that your wife gets better from the paralytic attack sounds serious mohammed shagor ahmed is here he's saying i love you on passive love you ash sir and, and whenever says, you're ready i'm ready Okay, he just said, oh, okay. All right, Armin, glad you're, you're still with us. Um, that's the main thing. And hello to Mr. Bob Blue, Jana, saying good morning. And I think I've caught up with the chat. It is nice seeing the real you, Brother Kushal. That's from Melanie to Kushal. That's nice. All right. All right, I think we're ready to roll then. And hello to Ranjan Paramedic. Yeah. All right. Well, we made it. And I tell you, I'm, it came back just in time because I was like, I'm, oh, they're early. They're going to call me and the thing's not ready. Uh, but anyway, this song <laughs> is uh, we're ready. Uh, it's it's Let There Be Love. And it's it's a song that uh, if I say the, the gentleman, you probably aren't going to know who he is, even if you're a little like older like myself. Uh, Dennis Day was the person that had the, the big hit. Of course, everyone's recorded. It's one of those standard American uh, classics. But uh, um, Dennis Day, uh, the place you, well, who saw him? But anyway, there was a, a comedy show many years ago. Jack Benny, another famous name. I hope some people will remember. Jack Benny had a, had a weekly uh, variety comedy show. And Dennis Day was a regular. Every week he would sing a beautiful song. He had a wonderful tenor voice, Dennis Day. He was like an Irish guy, you know, a little shortest guy, 
really but the thing was he had like this comic personality and he was uh, he was always getting on on uh, uh jack benny's nerves but then he would come up with this song oh my goodness could he sing so this is a lovely song that was a hit by dennis day probably back in the 40s i'm guessing but anyway here it goes let there be love here we go Of course, it's buffering a little. Oh, yeah, there we go. Not yet, little intro. Ba -ba 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 I hold on wait a second here i guess it isn't quite ready it just froze up on me again let me just see what i get oh here we go okay uh -oh. ah, i'm gonna start no i'll let it go <laughs> let there be you yeah i am gonna start it because it's jumping around that'll be it'll I'll be all right hold on now i hope Maybe I should have kept singing. All right. Hold on, hold on. Come on, here we go. Come on, computer. Come cooperate. Doing a little, little spinning around. Hold up. And if I can get it to go back to the beginning. Here we go, hopefully. I just want to say hi to Pat Green. I go see ahead, it'll start and I'll just start when it's you can. YouTube chat. So nice to see you, Pat Green. We miss you and we love you. Hope you're getting better. Yeah, there we go. Get away, you evil twin. Leave me alone. Cross your fingers. Gonna try it again. Here we go. Let there be you. Let there be me. Let there be oysters. Under the sea, let there be wind and occasional rain, chili con carne, sparkling champagne. Let there be birds to sing in the trees. Someone to bless me whenever I sneeze. Let there be cuckoos, cuckoos, <laughs> a lark and a dove. But first of all, please let there be love. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Let there be love, oh yeah. There we go again. Let there be cuckoos, a lark and a dove. But first of all, please, uh, let there be love. Mm -hmm. Love. Mm -hmm. Love. Uh, 
There you go. Don't let there be love. All right. Well. Good stuff, John. Good stuff. We appreciate that. I like that one. It's mellow and... Yeah, it's pleasant. A pleasant. Yeah. It wasn't like a really love song. It was about love. Yeah. All love. <laughs> Very nice. All right, all right, all right. The hands have been a little light tonight uh, on this topic of uh, smart water management. Uh, so that's not a problem. Uh, we're glad uh, everyone's here who is here. And uh, there are 38 on YouTube and let's check and see what we got here. 59. 59. That's 97 still hanging with us. That is cool. Like we've said, uh, you could be somewhere else tonight, uh, but you're here with us. And that means the world to both of us and to Ollie Boy as well. And uh, we're, just, we're just glad to be here, glad to be talking about the topic of the day, today's news today, and the topic of today being... Uh, smart water management and uh, hopefully the world will get its act together with regard to the desalination uh, and maybe get the cost down to where you know the individual places can afford it whether they be a village or a city and state or a county government I'd like to see everybody involved with that so uh, did you want to end a little early tonight, Lynn? Well, or? Let's do a last call, see if anybody has All any right. words to say. All right, we can do last call uh, and see if anyone else would like to uh, raise that hand. And we want to uh, read some of the comments from the chat. And um, All right. Oh, Mel, Mel says, hi, hi to Pat Green. Yeah. Don and DL, she says, I, I'll, hello to Pat Green, Donna Deal. I didn't have a chance to say hello to you two earlier. That's nice, Mel. Cheryl Best says, very nice, John. Hi, Mel man. Marcano says, beautiful, John. Um, uh, Surijit says, nice and lovely song. Thank you, John. I and agree. then Chris was nice enough to post the uh, title and the, its song, Let There Be Love, song by Nat King Cole, rendition by John Balladeer, hashtag JJB Tin Man Varilla. Yeah, of course they give the credit to Nat King Cole. He's a little later than Dennis Day, but I'm telling you, it was Dennis Day's song. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I believe it. Uh, Pedro, I saw your hand. Did you want to chime in? Go ahead, sir. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to make a brief comment on uh, on water uh, management. Uh, Actually, he can he can come to uh, learning how to build uh, buildings that conserve water, uh, and uh, probably have a way to recycle uh, in their own pre premises. I saw a building that had this design, and it's a it's a war winning. Uh, it says that the GBI, uh, which stands for Building Design and Construction. Uh, green building design, uh, a system of planting uh, things on top of the roofs to grow even small things that you want to grow, whether flowers or not, but that will filter the, the rain of the water and then collect it on a body of water nearby and then use that water for uh, managing the water inside the building. Uh, and that's that's that has been. He said that only 23 buildings in the U.S. are certified, and uh, this one is the the winning with 94 percent. It's uh, it's a facility that uh, sits on uh, a watchtower, wall kill office in New York, North New York. But uh, yeah, those are ways in which we can better use water <clears throat> by by building smart buildings that can uh, let water to be recycled in some way for the use of the building itself. Uh, so if it's done on a massive scale or, or with the thought of uh, uh, reusing water, it will be a great thing to conserve fresh water. As uh, I made a comment on 
on the fresh water is only 1% that is available. The rest is frozen in the glaciers. Uh, unless those icebergs dissolve, we get fresh, fresh water. Uh, you know, we, we can get more fresh water. Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> we need to manage what we have. 1% of the total uh, water availability is, uh, is fresh water. So we have to be careful uh, and start thinking of ways that we can personally contribute to us conserving and uh, smart using. Just like Carmela made a comment on on uh, a, a smart uh, houses, as she said, that they manage electricity with solar panels. <clears throat> that same technique is, can be used to conserve water in the house, whether there is uh, uh, water escaping uh, from uh, a leak in the you know in the house or whatnot. There are devices that can detect that and report in a in a computer where you can you can address where the problem is and correct it. So those are good ways to conserve fresh water. Uh, that's all I wanted to to mention. All right, Pedro. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, brother. Very nice. All right, uh, doesn't appear to be any other hands at the moment. Uh, do we want to get out of here a few minutes early on the holiday weekend? Sounds good. My All hand right. is up. Oh, yeah, Your hand there is you up. go. Don't I see it. Go, go ahead, ahead, Mel. Thank you. Just, I won't keep you long because I know it's a long weekend in the States. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, uh, and so, you know, I, something just came to my mind. Um, smart water can also be barrel water from the rain. You know how people prepare barrels now with the they put a tap in there. That's that's a way of um, smart water having the water for your garden and all those things instead of wasting. You know, opening water and hosing using water from a hose which consumes a lot. A lot of people now are using the barrels you know, like the drums, and then they put little taps in there. So that's a way, and then they have a treatment they put in there, and then somebody passes by to test the water. So that's another smart way of, you know, water conservation, the barrels. And lots of people prepare how many barrels in a certain area of their yard. I know in the Caribbean, they use it a lot, and that's a smart way of, you know, conserving water management and it's in the same way they go to test it in you know wherever it is in the reservoir the same way they send people out from the ministry to test it at their homes it just it just came to mind because when i went to my saw they are doing that they started doing that all right That's thank you mel I'm, I'm glad you thought of that that's good stuff good stuff all right, and, and I'm sorry, Pedro, I missed your hand. Pedro, Pedro. Totally inadvertent. Uh, we've got Srijit as well. We'll come back to Pedro in a moment. Uh, let's go to Srijit. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, sorry. Stand by one, Pedro. Let's have Srijit yes. from India and then you, please. Thank you, Rob. I want to add a little bit on it. Uh, I, have, I have noticed that in some of our hill areas in India, there are water reservoirs made uh, on the on the hills uh, for uh, collecting and preserving water, rainwaters mainly rainwaters. And I also want to add a little bit on it. Uh, you have seen uh, today's uh, using the so we are using solar pumps and solar systems are very much uh, uh, advanced in today's world. And I uh, think that if we use if we use solar panels for uh, filtering the waters. That is a so that is a water plant that will be based on totally solar power systems. That we, I think it will be a smarter system management of water, and that will help a lot on the hill areas, especially in the hill areas uh, of, the, of the persons who are who are who have a scarcity of water in the summer days and um, different times of the year. Thank you. I want to add. In, I I just wanted to say. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Well, thank you, Strigit. Let's go back to Pedro. Go ahead, Pedro. Yes. Uh, thank you, Rob. Uh, just to add what uh, to what uh, Mel was uh, uh, commenting on, 
Uh, it's true here in Maryland. I, my son has uh, his house sits on, on a rural area, and uh, his roof allows for collecting water. I, I myself went to Pepsi Cola. Actually, they uh, they sell drums, big drums, about uh, I guess twenty five gallons or, or or larger than that. And so this fellow was making the device to channel it, you know, the tubing and went out to channel it from the rainwater and collect it. And that can be used for watering uh, crops. You know, he, he was planting tomatoes, this kind of thing, uh, because he likes, you know, he is into uh, 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 food that is, is, uh, that is healthy. And, and so he wanted to, Grow, uh, you know, grow some some of the stuff that he consumes. So that is a great idea. If you have the the settings for it, collecting the water that rains, and then using it uh, in such a way that can benefit uh, yourself and uh, and perhaps others. All right. Well, thank you, thank you for that, Pedro. And I believe it's fifth. I I've seen those Pepsi Cola drums. I think they're the. Uh, the hazmat drums that they uh, clean out, uh, you know, they uh, pressure wash them so to, to where they're uh, totally clean, and then they uh, they use a, some kind of a hot water solution to make sure they're you know they're uh, emptied totally. And uh, they're 55 gallon drums. They're pretty good size. They're like a drum of oil uh, that you might see. So yeah, that is good stuff there for sure using a drum for rainwater and i think rainwater in hawaii is collected too is it not up in in the hills yes a lot of people use the um what's the word used for that um uh, when the rain goes into the container there's a word for that you guys you know I'm not sure water in catchment in catchment yeah, in catchment. Um, yeah a lot of people still depend on in catchment and when we were raised we <laughs> use in catchment for our water we didn't have um we didn't only use running water we use in catchment water to, for most of our our needs and i think some communities still depend on it today and if it's clean water seeing that it comes from above clean water yeah. for clothes for washing clean water for any almost anything that's right it's true all right, let's go now to, uh, thank you uh, for that. Uh, Mel, let's go to Dawn and DL. Go ahead. Yes. I was just going to say washing your hair in rainwater is wonderful. Makes your hair very, very soft. Oh, I see. Yes. That's good to know. <laughs> I even knew that. <laughs> <laughs> But we used to go out and play in the rain when I was a kid too, you know. We just Yeah. You know, it was a nice yeah, yeah, taking a shower was be fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, all righty, are there any other hands? Let's uh check the room and see if there's any other hands. I do want to say uh let me see here just one moment. Un momento, please. There are 36 still on YouTube, and right here, right now, uh, there are a, another group, a good-sized group of 36 and, uh-oh, 62, 62, that's a 98 still hanging with us. That's cool. I hate to cut it short if there's 98 people here. I know. So uh, maybe we shouldn't cut it short. Maybe we should just keep talking a little bit about uh, rainwater and its effect. Uh, fresh water from, uh, that can be gathered from desalination. Uh, I'd really like to see more and more of the desalination. I think as time goes, it's going to be a cheaper process, uh, a less expensive process, hopefully. All right, let's go to uh, DL and Dawn again. Go ahead. Thanks, Rob. I just wanted to say to my fellow veteran, Rob, here, that uh, it's definitely a somber uh, weekend, so to speak. I had uh, three uncles in World War II, and I lost one of them, and uh, they're still buried uh, in my hometown. 
in Ohio. So oh. I remember the uh, holiday, what it's really about. Yeah, right. It, Day. Yeah, I, let me talk just briefly about Memorial Day and, and about an event that I actually uh, was there for uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in Thailand on the Laotian border. Uh, one of my dear friends uh, uh, lost his life there on the border. We were uh, protecting the air base and uh, uh, he was shot and uh, uh, passed on right there, right in front of me. And that's something I'll never forget. And every Memorial Day and actually every day of my life, uh, Rusty is in my uh, thoughts and uh, prayers. His name was Rusty Gross. He was a uh, medic, as a matter of fact, medic, uh, a Navy medic working uh, with us on an air base in the Khan Phnom, Thailand. And uh, from a history point, a history lesson point, let me just say the Khan Phnom, Thailand is on the border of Laos and NKP, as it's called, the Khan Phnom. And uh, for years and years and years, I went back and forth with the VA claiming why I had a skin condition a couple of times, that it was because of the Agent Orange, and they kept denying, denying, denying. But back to the holiday itself, uh, Rusty's name, along with about 11 of my other friends, is on the Vietnam uh, Veterans Memorial. Uh, for anyone who travels from wherever you are in the world, if you make it to the United States Capitol of Washington, D.C., I think it would be well worth your time to visit the, the war memorials. There's a World War II uh, memorial. There's a, a Korean War memorial. There's a World War I memorial with some incredible statues there with uh, the guys uh, dressed in their uniforms, which were pretty arcade. Uh, Pretty old, pretty ancient looking back then from the 1913, 1914, 1915, and 16 uh, years. But uh, back to the reason for the holiday. And, um, you know, I'm glad to see that uh, pub public offices uh, around the globe in many countries are closed uh, in, in, um, in memory of, uh, you know, uh, those uh, people who lost their uh, lives uh, gave all, as we say, uh, in the military. Uh, the flags here in the United States and uh, probably other areas of the world are flown at what's called half-staff. Half-staff just means a flagpole. Uh, is, uh, the flag is raised to the top and then lowered halfway down and then uh, tied off. And uh, we have our flag. We have a 35-foot hole in our yard and our flag has been at half staff uh, now for the week because the United States government, uh, President Biden, suggested that it be a week of memorial, which I, I like that. I like that a lot. So our flag has been at half staff. Uh, you'll, uh, you've probably heard of half mast. Half mast is when the flag is raised and then lowered to half, halfway down on a ship or on a boat. No. Uh, so that's the difference between half uh, mass and half staff. I can't believe I got started on this. This is one of my favorite uh, things to, to go back and remember. Uh, uh, I will say this, on Monday morning at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, I'll be attending uh, with my friend uh, Rich uh, a memorial service at the Bay Pines uh, VA Hospitals uh, Cemetery. It's a huge umpteen acre facility right on the uh, on the bayway on the bay, and uh, just a nice place to to remember our friends and remember those who uh, have fallen. So back to you, uh, uh, DL. I think you had raised your hand again. Go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say uh, we come from a long line of military families, but uh, my uncle uh, Johnny, he was the one who killed in 1943. And my uncle Frank, he was Marine in Guadalcanal in 1942. So they saw some serious action. And then uh, my uncle Eddie was Navy in the Pacific as well. So uh, it's a very dear holiday to me personally. So thanks, Ron. Right. So thank you to all for uh, remembering the fallen. Uh, uh, and whether it be in the United States or whether it be in your country, wherever you might be, uh, you know, 
take a moment on Monday, uh, uh, you know, sometime around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning and remember these people, because you may even know some folks uh, who passed on while they were in the, uh, in the military. So. And maybe. Chokes me up. Yeah, see if anybody else wants to say. Yeah, if anybody words. else would like to say anything about uh, anyone they may have known in the military, uh, feel free. Or their thoughts about Memorial Day. And any thoughts about the holiday coming up Memorial Day? And Armin says, my hat's off to the Mad Hatter. He's All right, chat. thank you uh, for that, Armin. We appreciate that. Well, we made it up to 9.50 p.m. Eastern <laughs> Daylight Time. I thought we were done at 9.30, but uh, <laughs> uh, we got talking a little bit about the uh, holiday. Um, An excellent hmm. turnout today. Excellent turnout. For us to be 104, 105 on a Friday night where there's other things going on, whether it be on passive or whether it be uh, out in the world, you could be doing something. You could be out having a cold beverage or having a hamburger or a hot dog or a steak or shrimp or lobster. Uh, but no, you're right here with Rob Lynn live and uh, Ollie keeps circling. Uh, he's wondering why we're still on, but uh, <laughs> oh, Ollie boy. He wants a biscuit. He, oh, that's what he wants. Ollie wants a biscuit. Mm -hmm. Ollie wants a, a cracker, but Ollie wants a biscuit. So we'll give him a couple of biscuits. Uh, Usually he eats about four. One just doesn't get it done. And so. we see uh, Armin Hulk. He says, my great uncle was a pilot who served in the Blitz in the UK in World War II. World War II. I have a picture of my dad. I wish I could figure out a way to show it. Uh, he doesn't have his shirt on, uh, but he's got his Navy uh, fatigue pants on. And back then, believe it or not, because it was a war zone, they didn't have the bright blue uh, fatigue, uh, which is the uh, garment that uh, is worn. Uh, it's a work garment or a war garment. Back then, it was uh, actually a light tan to where it would blend in, which yeah, there's a fun fact there, too. And I've got a picture of my dad there uh, back in 1942. He was a youngster back then, 1942. And then I had a grandfather. My grandfather was in now, now get this, they had a motorcycle division, motorcycle division back in World War I. And I've got a picture of him on his motorcycle. It's a, it's a first generation Harley Davidson, I guess. And uh, that's kind of a cool memory as, uh, as well. So uh, let me see if there's anyone else who would. Uh, okay. Let's go back to DL. Yeah. Go ahead, DL. Yeah, thanks, Rob. Uh, when you was talking about the uh, tan pants, there kind of reminded me. I uh, I think you'll uh, you'll get this too. It reminds me of the old 1505s in the AF that we used to wear. Uh, Don also wanted to mention that uh, her dad was uh, was involved in the atomic testing out in the Pacific uh, about 1947 or so. So. He saw some serious action also. All right. Well, uh, God bless uh, anyone who has served and uh, especially those who gave all, as we say in this country. It's, uh, it truly is a, a, a holiday of remembrance. It's not a holiday of celebration. It's a holiday of remembrance. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it is a holiday of remembrance for sure. That mail. And uh, over to Mel. Go ahead, Mel. Yeah, thank you. Um, I know um, there's the US, there's the England, and there's um, Canada. But the islands, too, they were at war. They were sent to war by the French to join in with the bigger countries. So I have a cousin, well, actually, two cousins in the army right now, and they've been there for a while still in their young lives so and there's other people that i know of so you know it's um putting their lives on the line and um you know some return some do not sadly enough and they are pretty young those who do not return so my heart go, my well hats off as they say to you rob i salute you and dl i think he was in the army was dl in the army as well uh, DL was Air Force, I believe. 
in the yeah. Air Force. Okay. And um, to all those who have relatives, and I mean, we are all in this life together. So everybody who has people or have people in the Army, and those who have retired, those who have lost their lives, then, yeah, respect. That's what I want to say. All right, Mel, thank you. And thank you. And uh... Armin says, Rob, could I see a picture of your uncle in World War I, uh, World War I with that Harley by chance? Uh, that was my grandfather, and I'll have to dig that one up. It's in the archives of my phone along with 20, 30,000 other photos. So I'll find it, Armin, and I'll, uh, I'll make sure you get a chance to see it. I'll send it to you in Messenger, I think. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite a picture and really an old looking bike. Uh, it probably was about a 200 cc or maybe a little bit bigger bike. Oh, back then. and I think uh, Carmela's hand is up. Oh, it's been up for a long time since Greg Hill. So all right, Carmela, go ahead. You, I'm Greg. sorry, we, my fault. I I don't see her hand, but I be, I believe you, Greg. Go ahead, Carmela. Hey, I want to say. Was it Sorry about that. We didn't see your hand, Carmela. We weren't ignoring you. Your hand doesn't show. But go ahead. Okay. I want to say uh, uh, thank you and great, great food for the lovely evening. Always a new uh, things to learn here from the great topic. And a uh, new face, which I like to see from India that come today. And it's very nice. And you are all welcome. Come to the great show every night. We love you. Oh, that's nice. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Carmela. And uh, without going into any detail, uh, I just want to make a, a bit of a political statement that I don't care for war at all, no matter where it is, where it's waged. So I'm hoping that the wars that are going on, and there's more wars than we know about are going on now, will will end uh, with peace. Uh, enough already of uh, the hatred and the discontent for one another. It's time we all come together as a people and uh, as peoples around the globe and, and unite. And uh, that is one of the things bringing on passive into the uh, the subject line here that on passive is all about it has brought and will continue to bring people of all races nationalities uh, color of skin uh, religions political belief it's bringing us all together and that's a good thing and uh, if it has to start here with on passive so be it and uh, i'm just uh, proud that uh, we're a part of this great movement and uh Ash, we're ready for the apples, brother. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. All right. So uh, that all being said, uh, I think we're going to call it an evening. Uh, we're just shy of uh, two hours. And uh, not bad, not too shabby. Still right at 100 yeah. folk here. So thank you for that. And Chris is trying to come in. We would love to see him on camera. Can you not come on camera, Chris? Chris Tiazon. Kiran, too. He's been trying so hard to stay in um the panel i think probably having some internet problems but we appreciate you puran and we do see you and you've not given up so thank you for hanging in there and trying to to be on our panel tonight good stuff and i know you uh probably been looking forward to this but uh or maybe not just remember one thing you can get anything that you want at Ashmafar's restaurant. Yeah. So, that all being said, I think we're going to cruise. Okay, I wait, think it's time. Let's do a group picture. We'll do a group picture. Yes, ma'am. I'm hoping that Chris can come on camera. He's trying very hard. He has Chris 1 and Chris 3. He's been trying for the last 15 minutes. Movie. Movie. Film. What about it, movie? Are you going to watch a movie, Greg? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're just signing movie? <laughs> oh, you want to sign movie for our picture? Oh, okay. He, Greg is um, wants his, us to sign movie for our picture. So get ready. Everybody sign movie. This is the base hand, and this is the your dominant hand. 
moving back and forth over the hand. So like that, movie. Got it? You guys got it? All right. Chris, is Chris here? No? No. Oh, shucks. I really wanted Chris to be here. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Sign, movie, movie. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate all being here tonight. It's uh, It's been nice. It's been very nice talking about, about uh, water, smart water management. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night with another uh, topic of interest, hopefully. We'll see you real soon, as they say at Disney World. As Mickey said, we'll see you real soon. Thank you to the folks in the YouTube chat. Thank you for the folks in our Facebook and X and LinkedIn. Thank you to our folks who are in the actual webinar tonight. And thank you to everyone for just being with us tonight. All right. Thank you. Let's unmute and let's say arrivederci. Goodbye. Bon voyage. Adios. And uh, buena noche. Good night. Good Thanks night. for the time, John. Appreciate it. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. No chance to sign my name. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good day for those in India. I hope you can come again to our show. It's very nice. Yes, thank you. sure. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lynn. Come back. You're welcome, Kushal. Thank you. And love to everybody. Thanks, Take care. Thank you. On the count of three, one, Thank two, you. three. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.